if you want to create this camera shutter effect, all you need to do is this. Bring in the images that you want to use. You want to use a bunch of them, actually. Select all of them. Now press T and then press Ctrl D. Here, we're going to set up the duration to all of them to be 10 frames. Now press OK and you're good. We're going to bring these all over here and we're going to go three frames forward. And we're going to stack one on top of the other. Repeat this process with all your images. If you're right here, you want to make sure to adjust the position or the scale of all of the images so that they fit the screen completely. If there's one that doesn't, just make sure to adjust that so that the effect works a little bit better. Like in this case, for example, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. All right. Now we're going to go to the effects tab and we're going to search for a push transition. Drag and drop the push effect and make sure it lasts the three frames that we left between each clip. Here, we're going to set these to push down. Make sure to add ease in and out. Now you can also add a little bit of motion blur to be 0.6 or 0.7. And then if you want, you can add a little bit of border as well and play around with the feather if you want to have this as well. Now all you have to do is copy and paste these exact same effects into all of them. And once you have it in all of them, make sure to bring the clip that you're going to have to be the continuation. So in this case, I'm just actually going to copy these right here. And then make sure you have the video that you want to continue with right here like that. If we take a look at everything right now, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. We can see the effect is already working the way it should. Now, all you want to do is add a shutter camera sound effect and make sure that it starts a little bit or right when the transition starts. Now, if you're happy with the result, all you need to do is select the transition that you just created right click and then create a transition preset here you can set these to be a shutter down transition now if you go back to the transition sections you will find these as a preset in the user section right here so that you can use this in the future now if you want to take your editing to the next level make sure to check out suavi.com and find the free and paid tools that I developed so that you can take your DaVinci Resolve experience to the next level.